Hello, I'm Kirk Fryers, uh, president of Sarasota Evonics. We're here in Venice, Florida today uh, to, uh, to check out the new Aspen Max and the STEC 3100 Autopilot. Uh, we're going to be uh, flying this 182 today and uh, we're going to check it out and see how she flies. The nice thing about the uh, Aspen Max and the 3100 upgrade uh, is the, the functionality of the Aspen, uh, the clear pictures, the enunciations you get from the 3100. Uh, it's a much better performant, uh, performing uh, Aspen from the old legacy units. It's much more reliable, it doesn't get as hot as much, that sort of thing. The 3100 upgrade, the nice thing about it, it has a lot of different aircraft uh, that you can do the STC, that's capable of doing the STC, and it's an upgradable from the older autopilot. So the old rate-based rate, rate autopilots uh, that use the turn coordinator, now you can take the 3100 and upgrade it. For example, this, this 182 had a System 30 autopilot. We took the roll and the pitch servo, sent them out to STEC, got them completely overhauled, put them back in so you don't have the cost of buying new servos. So you just have to do the 3100 upgrade. Um, also, the functionality of the 3100 to the Aspen, you get the enunciations on the, uh, the Aspen, you get the flight direction capability, you get the indicated airspeed uh, from the Aspen that talks to the 3100, altitude pre select, you can control from the Aspen to the 3100, the vertical speed commands, the GPSS roll steering is all built into the 3100 so you don't have to have that confusing button anymore. Uh, it's just a much better functioning autopilot. Also, the 3100 um, does the um, AHARS built in so it's a much better performing autopilot so you don't have the turn coordinator. 3100 um, gives a functionality to the Aspen and the Aspen, they, they talk back to bear. They're a perfect combination. They were designed to work with each other. Um, the nice thing about it, it is you don't have to have the Aspen for the uh, STEC to work. You can use the remote box that, uh, that uh, STEC uh, provides. Um, so if you don't want to spend the, all the money on the Aspen or the PFDs that are out there in the market, you can just buy the 3100. We can put it in. No problem. It'll work. It'll work with an old DG. Not a problem. Uh, but it works more, much better with the Aspen. Like I said, they were designed to work together. Um, so we're going to go fly it. We're going to see how she flies. Check it out. Uh, next week, we're going to be at the Air Venture EAA Oshkosh uh, 2021. Uh, we're going to have this on display. Um, the Aspen Max with a 3100. So come check us out. They got some great seminars. Aspen's doing some seminars. STEC Genesis is going to do some seminars on how these things work together. Come check us out. We're in Hangar B. We're going to be there next week, Monday, all the way through Sunday. Come see us. Kirk, were you on the ground? We talked about the capabilities that the 3100 gives you uh, with the Aspen system. Autopilot, quite surprisingly, market has gotten really competitive. So what does the 3100 give you uh, use with the Aspen that you didn't have before? Yeah, so once you unlock the Aspen uh, to the 3100 and do the max upgrade, uh, you get quite a few features uh, that we didn't have before. Uh, one, number one is all the enunciations and the flight director shown on the Aspen that it comes from the uh, 3100. You get your AHARS data that feeds to the 3100, so the 3100 doesn't have to have that remote box. It gets all its information. Uh, you can control your airspeed, your uh, IAS functionality through the Aspen to the 3100. You can control your altitude, vertical speed, and altitude capture through the Aspen to the 3100. And your GPS data uh, can all be fed through the Aspen to the 3100 without the uh, analog control unit, which is the ACU uh, of the, uh, for the old system. So you get rid of that, which is a weight, a weight savings as well. Now, if I understand the specs right, the 3100 will also do that on its own for if you're using yeah, it. Yeah. So if you didn't have to, if you didn't have the Aspen, you could do the altitude pre-select and the vertical speed command right on the 3100 itself. Uh, but you still have to have the remote, old remote A hard box that uh, STEC will provide for you. And as far as the installation, uh, uh, if you're putting in a 3100, uh, what are the considerations on servos? Uh, well, if you already have an existing STEC autopilot, the 3100 is a great upgrade because you can reuse your servos. As well, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, for example, if you had a 55X, Aspen will warranty those servos. You can send those servos back, get them all completely overhauled for the exact same price as the upgrade. And they'll completely warranty those servos for another, as long as the warranty of the 3100. 
And what if you have other servos? Will it work with other servos, or do you have to stay yeah. with the S6? You have to do the S6 servos only. Okay, so if I have uh, no autopilot at all, and I want to put in the uh, 3100, I'm going to need the servos, I'm going to need the box, independent of the Aspen for the moment, what's an upgrade like that cost? John? <laughs> if we have an existing 55X? No, just for a fresh install. A fresh install of the 3100? Yeah. Uh, typical three servo system, so that's pitch roll and automatic pitch trim. Uh, you're going to spend in the neighborhood of uh, the low $30,000 for a 3100 installed from scratch. Oh, excuse me. Let me say that again, Paul. The uh, three servo system, the 3100 installed, a fresh install is going to run in the low $30,000 installed. All right, let's talk about uh, if we are combining this uh, with the can we can we run it with the uh, older uh, Aspen system, or do you have to go to yeah. the Mac? No, you can run it with the older Aspen system, and it'll still feed it the AHARS data uh, that it needs. Uh, you just don't get those extra functions like the enunciations, the flight directors, the uh, you know able to do the pre-select vertical speed commands and IAS commands. And if you upgrade to the Max, uh, how does that work? So the uh, the Aspen unlock uh, is uh, 1995, as well as the 3100 unlock. Is uh, I'm sorry. The Aspen Max is 59.95. The unlock from Aspen is 19.95. Uh, do we get any uh, envelope protection? Uh, yeah, you, with the 3100. Yep, you get the envelope protection as well as the uh, you know the like you know you have a car you go into the other lane it'll bring you back. So okay, a 45 degree bank. And uh, does it also do uh, speed envelope protection? Yeah, so it'll tell you if you're going to stall. Uh, it'll bring you back over uh, and in overspeed as well. Okay, and it gives you, does it give you oral warnings on that? Yes, gives you oral warnings. 